friends it's Jenna Templeton here thank you for checking out this video if you're a regular viewer thank you so much for supporting me continuously and if you're new welcome thanks for checking out this video so today I thought I'd do a little setup video of one of my new journals I'll be using I had some other videos to, that I wanted to share first, but um, this one's a bit timely because I also want to share not only a new journal setup, but also some new products that have entered the store this November. And I'm really excited to share with you this little setup. I'm using a Filofax Clipbook notebook, and it's going to be a bit of a, a catch-all of like some like latest stationery or just stationery that I'm currently using. So with my um, date stickers, if you've checked out my online shop or seen on Instagram, I release these monthly um, artworks and printables. I release a lot of journaling printables monthly in my little online shop. All the details in the description box below. So because of that, I theme a lot of my journaling for that month around um, my printables. I wanted to show you my latest little journal. For those people who have that a uh, bit of an eagle eye and purchased my September date sticker printables, the all stationary theme. You might have seen one of the days was actually an illustration I did off this little notebook. So I've had this for a few months now and I'm loving it. I've been changing it up each month. And I just thought, um, also as well as keeping some things. So I thought I'll give you a little flip through of the little setup and what I intend to do with this journal. Like a six ring binder, I was really drawn to the beautiful pastely kind of stony looking pattern that's actually on this clip book I've kept it comes with like these PVC parts on it so I've still got the packaging on the back because I like to just look at it but I'll take that off but it's got like these PVC clear stuff or the same stuff actually that I use to make my washi samples out of but it's great because you can either stick things on it which I'll probably share in some other videos some more ideas but this one protects artwork if you want to put it into your journal and you can the great thing is that you can the way this is made which makes this journal unique which is what I'm pointing out is that because of the rims are kind of go into this cover some way um, you're able to attach things to the front of the cover so you can get pattern ones and you can get plain colored ones. I really am loving this because I've used it for a couple of months now. Um, it's just so, I love how you can personalize journals. I'm more of like a plain journal lover. If I feel like I can like personalize or add DIY touches, they're the type of journals that I go for. So on the front here, I have this little key ring that I thrifted of this little koala. It's so cute. It's actually meant to be like a key holder. So it's meant to be the top of a key, but I kind of change it up a bit to attach to the front of the journal. And that's another thing that's great. You can also attach keychains so they can have this little cute dangling decoration on this particular journal. Um, so just underneath here, I actually punched holes in it because it's a printable artwork that I have in my store. I attached this to it. So this is an artwork I did of the Japanese, I was going to say mascot, but she's more like a, a mythical symbol. And as you know, Japan, they use a lot of symbolism. So like different characters that symbolize certain things. So what Amumi does is she fights off pandemics or she's meant to be like a good omen for good health. And I really love the character. I wanted, I recreated my own version of her. So yeah, there's different style of Amabees, I think in Japan, but I wanted to design my own styled Am Amabee. So I wasn't able to get any stationery given that Japan's not sending anything to Australia at the moment and just you can't find any. So that's kind of what inspires me to also create my own stationery. And I kind of think about other people too, um, if they can't get it. So that's why I'm releasing things, a lot of my items in my shop as printables. So I love um, the pastelness of this journal. So there's a bit of a pastel theme. So I love how she fits perfectly on the cover. So you could just hang it up on your wall. Yeah, so you can use the artwork to decorate the front of your journals or inside your journals. Maybe you're going to do an Amabi theme or under the sea theme journaling. That would be handy to use for that. Sometimes I like to stick artworks in the front of my Hobonichi as well. I would have put her in here, but um, I really wanted to include her on this clipbook as something special. 
So that's the front as we open it up. So because I said my date sticker set this month is under the sea theme. So here it is now. I'll show you some footage of my little date sticker set. Feel free to check it out. I also use my date stickers in my Hobonichi. So these are some of my past date stickers cut up in my monthly grid. So that's what they, you can do for the monthly. You can add them to your weekly pages too. And I've also got them, obviously, I've got them in on each day. I've got the little date stickers on each day going through my journal here. This one's Ponyo. So feel free to check them out. So I really kind of DIY this as I mentioned. So I've kind of really using things that I already have. So I've gone through like my Rin binder, things I already had like pockets and different pages and I've DIY'd and cut some up myself using the initial pages that you get in this clipbook file effects notebook. I kind of use it as a template to cut up some of these extra bits, but most of these things I already did have. So I've got, at the start, I've put this in. I'll let you know the things that come with the clipbook because you do get a few items like pages with the clipbook, but I've added most of the things in here. A little dashboard, a little clear dashboard that's a pocket. So I haven't got much in there, but I can pop items in there. Like I've got this cute little seal note paper. It's really sweet and it comes with this like glassine envelope. This is actually the letter set, so cute to write on. But I'm just added here for, sometimes I use my stationery as like dashboards or decorations. So you don't always have to use your stationery for the purpose and you know like I'm always doing things that aren't, do my stationery that aren't used for the purpose. Um, I had this little artwork by a local artist. What I did for this was I had like a clear little baggie it could have been actually a leftover bag from um, a sticker sheet. And then I used some origami paper to make these tabs and I punched some holes into it. I really love the colors on this. I think this is a Luca Lab pocket. And because it's like a plastic pocket, just a stand plastic pocket, I added another little postcard I had. So I have a little Blythe doll postcard set I got from Japan 10 years ago. Um, I love Blythe dolls and back then one of the things I wanted to get was a Blythe doll when I went to Japan and I went to the Blythe doll shop and yeah I got some stationery. There wasn't many out at the time um, but yeah I got this was one of the postcards and she's like relaxing on the beach and I thought that's perfect for this theme because we're going into summer here in Australia so um, luckily we haven't had many cases of COVID so we're able to travel to beaches if you're being safe so I'm looking forward to a little mini break soon only for a couple of days I like to keep safe and then I've got another little cool traveler's notebook size pocket here and I've just added this little koala post-it note I always have a touch of Aussie in um, my journals so inside I've just got a little pocket envelope. So cute. And I'm gonna I'm gonna use this to put some washi samples in. So I've made like my own little washi samples. I've been making so many washi samples with pen pals over the last couple of months. I'm sending out lots of mail and replying to my PO box letters. Um yeah, so I thought oh, I'll make a little swatch for myself while I was putting together some mail. So I actually used a packaging from a Daiso washi tape um, as like a little holder because I ended up putting it in here but I thought I could even attach it to the rings which would look really kind of cute. So think about the package that you have. There's so many different things you and different ways that you can actually reuse and use the beautiful packaging that some of the stationary items come in. So I'll show you the washi tapes. I've got, I love this Korean brand, Raiko, from the shop Recorder. It's so hard to find their items, but I love it. So this is the washi. 
So again, I'm going for a bit of an under the sea theme because that's the theme of my date stickers and I theme, um, yeah, my journal pages around that. Um, I've never really been a big fan of like, especially tropical things um, or under the sea type things, but I'm loving the new, like how it's all pastel -y and pretty, like pelicans and things on it. I really love, I love that. I love just the composition of that how it's a bit scattered and I've got some more wavy type style with some sea creatures some whales so it's the little washi sample yeah it's really great I can just change this theme up every month or it's Christmas next month so I think I'll leave it because and add a few more other items look through my stash see what I've got um, that's a little post-it note from that same brand, the Korean stationery brand, little memo paper. I just attached it with washi. Um, I'll probably utilize the back a bit better. I might stick something here or another washi sample. And we just pan out. So this is the page that says clipbook that you get. I've just stuck a few things on it. You get like this little clipbook. Advertising packaging, I never really throw that out. So I've just put some sticker sheets and things that I liked and just add it to it so then it's like I can flip through it and admire the stationery and use it each day because I have my Hobonichi as my daily planner but yeah this one will be really handy to just like kind of bit of a catch-all of everything so it's a bit of a mixed bag notebook where I'm going to write notes in kind of use semi as a bullet journal but I do have another bullet journal but just to like to do lists, um, do some planning, and just like I said, the like, catch all of some of my stationery that I like, so I can change it up each month. Love this! So excited! I was able to get some stationery, um, Japanese illustrator Yukako Odi. Um, she's one of my favorite illustrators in Japan. She did a collaboration with. Daiso, so I got them. I got some wash tapes and I got this pouch. I'm like over the moon because I saw so many things from um, the Daiso Japanese Instagram or some other Japanese Instagram accounts. They had like I could see they had this artist release. I'm like, oh, please, Australia, get it. So I was able to get some. So, so excited. I haven't been able to get, I think they release like memo sticker flakes, like I think they release sticker flakes and I haven't been able to get them. And there was like a memo notepad of this character and I think maybe origami paper. So they're the only things I'm still on the hunt for because I just really love that artist. And I've got some takes from last year too. Okay, so I'm doing some washi swatching. This is another ongoing project that I've been doing for a while. I'm um, yet to share. Um, I mean the swatching, not the tapes, even though I love to release some tapes. Um, so I'll, I'll show you. I've got some swatch washi tapes here. I love artist washi tapes. Um, so this is by an artist called Na. So Nippons, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing that right. She has exclusive tapes she sells in a Patreon store. So I was able to get um, her tapes really love these they're gorgeous i'm probably going to save another video to talk more about it because i've filmed a video already but they're the tapes if you want to see the samples i'll probably reshare that in another video um so japan's all things summer and melon soda at the moment i love um the cuteness of this kind of melon soda again i'm not into tropical things but i just seem to love just love these melon soda um i'm seeing on all these stationary items and obviously i can't get them out to australia or find places to buy them so i thought you know stuff it i'll make my own melon soda so i created like a die cut using um paper and cardstock and made my own little melon soda die cut and i've just stuck it on there and i made something else for a pen pal with this so i made myself one because sometimes it's nice to treat ourselves and then i've got an origami pocket so yeah i love all the melon soda stuff i'm so excited to try find some and all the year of the cow lunar new year year of the ox cow um i'm really trying to find some items from that as well but here is a little pocket i made and it's just an origami two origami 
papers stuck together and then I've punched the holes and I've kind of used it as a bit of a sticker pocket. So these are some stickers I have again under the sea theme because I'm kind of going for that theme this month. And so I kind of have, like I make my flip books, I have little bits that peek out. And then I've got another um, envelope here. It was so funny, I designed my um, under the sea thing because I do it a few months ahead or a couple months ahead or a month ahead. And then after I did it, I went out and saw that Daiso also featured one of these spotted sharks in their latest um, design. So I just thought it was so weird because it's just beyond random. Um, it, I thought it was like a random sea creature to choose to draw and now it's like everywhere. Um, and then I've got some more stickers here. I've got these little polar bears. And then I've got these ones and I think they're like drubbons. So I've got those. And then I've used one of these little sticky club pockets. Um, I think some of this is from it, but not all of it is from this particular one. I um, like to reuse these pockets because they're a great way to add stationery. Um, so I've got a little die cut card. And I've got some more die cuts, some shells and things. I don't think these. this wasn't from Sticky Club or this. Um, this was the patch. Um, this is some more transfers I got from a pen pal. I think Abby gave it to me. And then I've got a few um, stickers here that I've shoved in. Not all from this particular again sticky clip. I've gone through my sticker collection to put things in here. I think these ones are from the sticky club like a while ago. like a bookmark I like this artist too I don't know the name of the artist but um it's a Japanese artist and they do these really kind of quirky stickers I wish I drew one of uh, one of, I like these little sea creatures too they're really cute I didn't draw one of those Probably because I already had a sticker of it. And there's like like mermaid doing different tasks. And some shells. And some little fishies. But my printable, I've been getting a lot of use of my printable instead of using a lot of these stickers. So another way to use the printable, this is the date sticker printable for this November month. I've done a lot of under the sea creatures. So if you don't want to cut them up individually, you can slap the calendar over your monthly grid. Or like I've done for this, I had some cardstock and I they are A5, they A4 size date sticker sheet, but I do the thing where I minimize the size when I print things out and it goes to A5 for some of my things like this planner. So I could just stick it right in like this. And it adds, it's a great use for a title page. So if you can't be bothered doing a title page each month in your journal, just use the date sticker set. So they can be some nice decoration for you for your title page each month. And then because it's been Halloween, I've had some Halloween things in it. I had this really cute memo pad. I really love this brand. This Korean style again. I think it's actually called Meatball. I know it's not that Meatball character with the face. I love it. She's so cute. Um, I really want to get some Meatball stationery. She's a cute little girl with brown hair. And she has these really cool collage washi tapes. I don't know if anyone's seen them. But it's impossible to buy it in Australia. But I think there's this brand too called Meatball. And they do like these bunny memo papers. And then this is just from a children's book that I cut up and I actually featured a picture also in my Hobonichi of, um, from the same book. I just thought it was really cute, this little children's book. So I do cut up children's book and use a lot in my planners. So this is leftover things from October. I've got my bucket list uh, and I did use, I have yet to tick a lot of these things off and add to it. I didn't get around to because I was too busy designing the next thing. I kind of design one thing and get straight on to the next thing. But I hope 
if anyone purchases from my shop, which comes the October date sticker, that you have been enjoying it and maybe did some of the things on this bucket list. Um, I was meant to add a like to-do list here, but again, I just started doing the things <laughs> instead of writing the to-do list. So you get these lined pages in the planner and you get these grid pages as well. You get a handful of each. I've segmented off each kind of section. So this is my ideas section. So I've just done some really minimal decoration. I've got this cute little, um, I think it's like a hamster with this light bulb um, for, and I've just got some stickers here I put here for ideas. So I, I illustrate a lot of my ideas out. So I'm gonna keep those private because um, they're gonna use for upcoming videos and just different projects or things in my shop. So I'm gonna, I illustrate like, them in pictures as well as notes, so that's why you can probably see some little diagrams there. Um, I've got some lovely artwork here, some postcards. I love illustrated postcards, and this one is gorgeous. I really loved how this little glue pot. And then there's this one. And then there's this one which is like one of these toy machines. How cute is it? And I've just attached these. Again, I use some sticker like tabs. So I have these like, well, they're not really tabs. They're like multi-purpose labels. And I just fold them over and turn them into tabs. So using what you have for different ways, I've just got all these different size pockets. Again, this is like a plastic baggie and I've just used that. Um, I've got this, I think this is a Luca Lab page and then I've gone on and I've put stickers here like say YouTube and a little camera die cut um, so I'll keep them private. So with the Fireflax kit book you get a handful of these, the monthlies. I'm yet to use this because I'm kind of saving a lot of these sheets for next year so that's why I haven't written anything. So I'll probably put some date stickers here or do my thing that I've done in my Hobonichi where I do a sticker a day. And then I have this beautiful postcard um, that a pen pal Joanne sent. I love it. So this little boy reading this bookstore. I've just got books and reading here because I have my book journal, which is this in a traveler's notebook. Um, and I've got my printables that I've used for that. So I'm going to just maybe put Rather than journaling about the books in here, I'm going to just put like what I'm reading or things that I want to read. I have added some of my printables. I've just punched holes in here. Um, I've got this little bookmark. It says to read, so you can write what you want to read. It also acts as like a tab, which is perfect. So I've been using that in my journals a lot. And then I've got this little library loans car, which I write things that I loan from the library. And then I had this, I found this from an old Kiki K set. Um, and it's just, yeah, a quick way for me to jot things down and then I'll do my um, more extended book journaling in my traveler's notebook that I got just there. Um, I found this page too from Kiki K. It's called Groups and Memberships. And I thought, oh, what could I use that for? And then I was like, oh, if I sign up to any, like, maybe you sign up to, like, subscription clubs or if you sign up to Patreons. I'm not able to afford a lot of Patreons. I've only got one low-tiered ones that I turn on and off. Um, if I sell more from my shop, I'll better support others. But um, I'm only a small business owner at the moment. But it could be a great way if you wanted to make, like, a Patreon section. And I'm thinking of opening up a Patreon next year. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments. I guess the worry is that when you do these things, is anyone going to sign up? But I always have a lot of ideas and I do design printables and different things and um, make mail. So yeah, let me know if you'd be interested in signing up. And then events. Obviously, there's going to be nothing in this at the moment because I'm not doing much for COVID. But um, I do visit the markets are starting to open up here in Australia like just a few um we have certain events on not like big ones just like local markets and things so i might jot down when they're on and then i've got this cute little memo paper from japan 
and I'm going to probably put cooking or recipes on here. And then I've got like this little meal. This was like a big sheet that I cut down, a little meal planner. So I can write what the dinners are going to be for the week or maybe things that I've eaten the week. So I might even illustrate some meals um, or add the recipes here or write the ingredients. And then we've just got some little to-do lists and this Positivity Passport I think came in an email from Everyday Explorers Co. I'm sure I got it from an email or they might have had it for a limited time as a free printable on their Instagram but it's this Positivity Passport and yeah you can it's got like list photo journal and how you feel and you can have like a quick snapshot for journaling memo sticky notes on here like swatching some of them this is a really cool one it's like you can segment off each bit and it's like the time of what you're doing that day but another place where i put my washi swatching i've had a swatch book since i started collecting washi tape since it came out it's probably like years and years ago now um, so I have to share those with you. But for this one, I'm doing more like of a little quick swatch. And I'm adding the washi tape tops as well. This was at Japanese Illustrator. I was going to feature like a little video just on it, but I'm not sure yet. I think I filmed it. But here's some of the... I love it because it's biscuits <laughs> I love biscuit and tea themed things so really excited they're so cute I'm so ecstatic to get those because a lot of our Aussie dice so we don't get the good stuff and there's this one too oh, how cute are they and then these are some under the, oh, I love the Kakagori one and then this is another way if you've got ones that come in those like little cardboard bits you can cut off the card and then add your swatch so just different ways to do these swatches so yeah you get plain grid paper I did a origami swatch I just thought I'm gonna try this um I don't know I was just playing it on my papers I was like oh I wish I had a record of all my little origami papers I was like oh why did I make a swatch so I yeah I use these special pattern scissors to cut these up like little stamps and swatch them on they're okay I don't know if I want to continue putting them on this nice grid paper because I really love to illustrate on this so I might use line paper in the future or plain paper but yeah that's what it looks like and just coming to the end you also get just blank pages and then you get a handful of these pages that are like monthly pullouts. They're really interesting. So, oh, this one, sorry, this one is actually just the January to December full look. So it's like the future log type thing that you'd get in other planners. And you get a handful of these ones. These are like a monthly pullout. And I love how it's not fully like dated with the month. So you can just select what month you want. There's no pressure to use one each month and then you can just yeah add the dates or use the date stickers that I've got would fit great in these um yeah so they're really good so I've got a handful of them again I'm saving to next year and then you also have this one too which is like a more another square style and then on the other side, it's got like the weekly. So you get a handful of them as well with this clip book when you buy it. And then you also get this to-do list style where it's got like the normal lines and then there's like extra faint line in here. And then it's got like the tick off parts as well in that. Some stickers I've just stuck in. Yeah, so you can do that. You can put punch holes in your sticker sheets and just put them in. Um, and then I've got this little pouch of just random bits I've thrown in that I want to use in this journal. Um, so this is like a few different pockets in here. And I've just got that and then, yeah, that's the end of it. So that's a little look at this 
little Phyla Flax kit book. I don't know if anyone else uses these. I haven't, I also wanted to feature because I haven't seen many videos on YouTube and I am the type who likes to only really put videos if there's not much of it on there already. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments if you liked this video. I would really love to know if you'd like to see any more file facts clipbook videos. I can share how my process is going. Um, by letting me know you like it, you can leave a comment below and I always reply back. Um, also leaving a like also helps. I'd love to um, build my community on this channel. So every share or subscribe is really, um, I'm really appreciative. So i got lots more videos coming and I hope you all have a lovely week and you are all safe and well. I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.